Hello, Claire here. Today I'm gonna take Disney princesses and put them in some summery clothes so they can enjoy this. Brick motion. Last time I gave Rapunzel here a summery outfit because her dress wasn't really made for swimming. And today we got an invite. I wonder who it might be from. It just says where? Rapunzel's Tower. And when? Now. Signed by Claire and Rapunzel. Oh, none of you have bathing suits ready. Ah, oh, well, I might have prepared something. Let's start with um, Cinderella. As with many today, I'll have to shorten her skirt. Then it's a matter of painting the shoes to fit everything else. In her case, I used silver. Simply because I also used silver on her torso while I was painting it way back when I was doing the Disney princesses as mermaids. So even though a part here is reused, she loves the outfit, as she should. And she's so happy that she gets to keep it, that even her smile has grown. Now all that is left to do is to slide her on one of those slides. Now, when Rapunzel and I were testing these, um, how should I put it, they weren't really working. Rapunzel kept falling off. And uh, now we'll see, was that just a weird statistical fluke in the universe? Let's put Cindy down the blue slide. A success! Maybe I was worried for nothing. And I will place her near the waterfall. There. Moving on. Hmm. Ariel. While designing her outfit, I had in mind the shells she used to wear while she was a mermaid and the green dress she is now famous for. I combined those two and this is what I got. However, I felt something was missing, so I also glued on some lavender stars onto her shoes. I think of stars as being both magical and underwatery at the same time. And Ariel is nothing if not a magical mermaid, so this is just perfect for her. Eeny meeny miny mo, down which slide should she go? The longest one, the longest one. A slow descent, but a successful one. And now to find her final resting place. How about here? Don't worry, dear, you're not gonna be alone for long. Company's coming, in the form of Belle. Now, if there was ever a great example of a ball gown that should never, ever, ever go into a pool, this would be it. Therefore, I gave her a short yellow dress with golden shoes and I left the torso as is, except that I removed her hand gloves. And now how did I do that, you might be wondering. Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah, I took her arms off and then replaced them with naked ones. And that is all. However, I felt her face was too boring, so I gave her some sunglasses. I had hoped that when she has some sunglasses on, she won't be reading as much. So, Belle, on which slide would you like to go? The yellow one? Oh, what a surprise! Let's go! And she made it down as well. You know what, Rapunzel? I'm starting to think the problem was in you and not the slides all along. I'm gonna keep Belle here. I'm gonna freeze her moment when she splashed into the water. Like this. Or more like... On to the next one. Tiana. 
one of my faves. I've reimagined her green ball gown as some green beachwear. But when the outfit was done, it was kind of bland, which reminded me that I still had some stars left. <laughs> so I put them on her flip-flops and I put them on her hair. Because why not? And now she's all starry and green and magical. And I love it. You are going down the uh, blue slide. But this one... Now why did I do that? Simple. Because on the first floor there's a shell. And I believe Tiana will enjoy imagining how she can cook it. Snow White. Another one in a yellow dress. Skirt. Whatever. The shortening of the skirt is now kind of normal, so we don't have to spend much time on that. And then the beautiful torso is once again borrowed from her mermaid version. And the red lines on it are so fine and so crisp that I felt the need to redden her hair bow as well. And I think this makes the outfit just come together even better. Snow White can be easily scared, so I don't want to put her anywhere too high. Like here, it's the smallest one. You survived. But still, I think she'll want to stay down. I'll put her next to the waterfall. For Merida, I wanted to keep her dark blue golden style, because I love it. But I felt she needed more of a sporty vibe to her. So she got shorts and sneakers. Yes, I'm giving her sneakers for a pool party. I'm aware of my actions and I don't feel sorry for them. I think this combo makes her look like she's ready to run off, but in a, a royal kind of way, if that makes sense. And if not, now given her love of climbing, I think she should climb at this mountain and then drink from the waterfall. Glug, glug, glug. Aurora. Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. That's one of those words that I just can't say in English, so we all have to live with it. Lego keeps making Aurora in her pink gown, so I'm gonna give her a pink summery outfit as well. Simply because I feel like I need to. But anyone who has ever talked to Aurora here in my office knows that her favorite color is actually black. So I decided to make her a black outfit as well. <laughs> Don't worry, she's not evil, I'm just being me. The white stripe I left on her swimsuit is the only thing that kind of still reminds us of her original ball gown. And she will go onto the yellow slide. There's a lot of friction going on between the slide and these rubbery hair pieces. So attempt number two. <laughs> and we shall put you next to Ariel so you can talk. There. Jasmine will have to come without Raja because he's afraid of the water. Luckily Jasmine isn't and fairly recently I've made a 15 outfits video with her. So I had a lot of pieces to choose from whilst making this attire. I opted for keeping her original torso because it's so beautiful and looks like a swimsuit and the legs sport some royally magical flip-flops because that's the thing right flip-flops can be magical right and just like that she is ready to slide down the blue one slowly but steadily again Rapunzel I really think the falling off slides thing was really just your thing. Because of her long hair, I'm gonna put her standing uh, on the second floor. 
Mulan. Another one of my favorites is another princess that sports a long yellow skirt. Now, we already had two yellow skirts, so I figured this time I'm gonna do yellow shorts. Also, it matches Mulan's personality, but I'm fairly proud of the torso I made for her for her mermaid version again. So I'm reusing it again and I gave her some flip-flops to match. You probably won't guess, but the stars are glued on. And just like that, this doll was done. Let's put you on the, the purple slide. I really don't know what I did wrong last time. <sighs> well, Mulan is going to go back up and keep Rapunzel company. Pocahontas! is the only princess we still haven't gotten an official mini doll of, so this is my version of her. And even though her outfit could easily pass as a summary outfit, I decided against it. She deserves a second custom outfit from me. I also wanted to give her some color to the, the original outfit, it's kind of too boring for me. So put in some color I have. Blue, but that counts. I also found that I had some blue sunglasses that I could give her and that has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I don't have a second Pocahontas face painted. N none at all. And I have no doubt that if she were to come here for reals, she would just climb up all, all, all the way up to the rooftop. I can see Elsa's palace from here. Whee! I miss the falling off slides too much, so sorry. The Ice Queen, Elsa, will hopefully not freeze the pool. And in exchange, she will get an outfit that luckily required only a few minor changes. I glued on the silver shells onto the flip-flops and words can hardly describe how much I adore these shells. They are silver and they are tiny. What more could you ask for? And then the torso is just Stephanie's torso with the magenta lines painted silver. So simple, so great, so magical. She is going down the yellow slide. I'm happy even if the slides work. There's something really satisfying in sliding things down. And I think she would love it so much that she would want to go up right away. And you know where Elsa is? Anna can't be far behind. Now, when you imagine a summary outfit, I am pretty sure that this would be the exact opposite of what you had imagined. I still love the color scheme though, so I try to stick with it. Blue, black, magenta, with a tiny bit of green, mush it all together, and this is what you get. Since I could use one of Anna's other torsos, so all I needed to do is repaint the shoes. And I think I did a really good job with it too. Yes, 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 yes. Just like Elsa, she will go down the yellow slide and she will get in line to get up again. Only Moana left. Now Moana is a girl that cannot stay away from the water for very long, so her outfits are basically made to be in water. So they were perfect and I didn't want to change that. I could have only ruined it, hence I only gave her a different hairstyle. I felt the bun would make the hair more manageable and she looks so good with it. I mean, wow! And I'm assuming, Moana, you are going to go to the longest slide. And we had one falling off. Thank you for giving me the satisfaction of seeing somebody fall off today. Maybe from this side. Moana, you are ruining my theory about why it didn't work last time. There. And she will 
girl. Hang out with Rapunzel. All of the princesses have new outfits and my job here is done. Except there are still so many places left where I wanted a mini doll to be. So I will guess I'll have to populate them with um, some pony else. Until the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye bye!